constantly monitor your intentions, as everyone will receive that which they have intended for. You must strive to seek the truth, God, and His guidance. You were created with a purpose, and you must strive to find that purpose and live as your Creator expects. Finding God and obeying Him leads to honor and significant reward, while rejecting God leads to severe punishment. In seeking the truth, you must search with absolute sincerity to find what you are looking for, as intentions are the roots of every action. If you investigate Islam and the Holy Quran intending to seek God, the truth, and guidance, while putting in the effort, you will find God and His path. However, if you open the Holy Quran and investigate Islam only to try to find errors, contradictions, and falsehoods, without sincerely trying to find the truth and receive guidance from your Creator, you will find what appear to be errors, contradictions, and falsehoods, but are not due to your ill intentions. Two people can look at the same religion or read the same verses of God's scriptures and achieve two different outcomes due to their intentions. True faith is beneficial only to sincere people seeking guidance, misguiding those who are not sincere, genuine, and honest in their spiritual quests. Those who reject divine guidance and spiritual truth when shown to them and who are too stubborn and arrogant to accept it. Faith and guidance are the most valuable possessions one can acquire. If you choose to seek God, He will assist you in this beautiful journey of finding His path. Guidance can come only from Him and is available to anyone who seeks it. So, ask Him to guide you on the straight path the path to him. You do not have to name him. Only say, you who created me and this whole universe, please guide me and bring me closer to you. One guided by God can never go astray, and whomever God allows to go astray, no one else can guide. God guides those who struggle to find the path to him and strive to do good. When a person chooses guidance, God will increase them in guidance. May God make us among them. If one chooses misguidance and rejects God and His message when they see signs of His existence, God will increase them in misguidance. May God not make us among them. One must put in the effort and take the first steps to find God, and God will guide them. To my dear Christian, you must research and learn the authentic message of Jesus Christ. God, the Almighty, has distinguished man among his other creations by providing humankind with the gift of reason. One would not be considered a rational being if they had faith without using their intellect to investigate, rationalize, analyze, and reflect on their beliefs, blindly following their church and pastor. To my dear Christian, take the time to research and think for yourself. Do not procrastinate and do not take the matter of faith lightly as you are not guaranteed a tomorrow. The test of life can end at any moment. Realize that you did not come to this book by random chance. Your Creator has guided you here. May your journey to the answer and the truth be pleasant and successful.